I'm so, so happy that you clicked on this video and that you're here and interested in learning more about upcycling because mark my words, in the coming years, this is going to be the most exciting and impactful movement in the fashion industry. Hi, my name is Kaylin Yvonne and I am the CEO and co-owner of Yvonne and Mitchell, which is an upcycled fashion brand and I'm here to tell you everything you need to know about upcycling clothes including what that actually means, why it's important, the impact it has on the environment, and how you can do it on your own. First things first, what is upcycling? Here's how we define it. Upcycling is the process of taking an old, discarded, used object or material and transforming it, reconstructing it into an item that's of higher quality and higher value. Now, specifically, me and my business partner slash boyfriend, Jared, we specialize in upcycling clothes. We source them secondhand, and then my boyfriend, who is an amazing designer and sewer, sews them into entirely new pieces. Now, upcycling goes beyond fashion. You can upcycle furniture, you can upcycle jewelry, etc. But today, we're gonna be focusing on upcycling clothes specifically because that's what we specialize in. Why is upcycling clothes important and why should it matter to you? As you probably know by now, fashion is not a sustainable industry. In fact, the UN found that fashion is responsible for 10% of the world's carbon emissions, which is more than international aviation and shipping combined. If we know that clothing production is incredibly harmful to the environment, at least the way we're going about it now, and on top of that, we're producing an excessive amount of clothes every year, which is, let's see, 17 million tons to be exact, that means that there's more than enough clothing and fabric to be upcycled. Now the next topic that I wanna cover, because I think it's really important, is distinguishing the difference between upcycling and recycling because they are two very different things. Recycling is the process of converting a waste material into a textile. And it's an extremely labor-intensive process that requires a lot of time and a lot of resources. In fact, recycling centers spend hours sifting through clothes to find ones that can be recycled, which only ends up being less than 1% because most of the fibers that brands use nowadays are extremely problematic and can't be repurposed into new textiles. So that's why Upcycling clothes is so important and honestly such an exciting new revolution in fashion because it's so much easier to DIY and it doesn't require nearly as much time or resources compared to recycling. By upcycling your old clothes, you're just making use of the fabrics and clothing as is without having to convert them into another textile at a recycling center. That brings me to the last point, which is how to make your own upcycled clothing. We've made over 250 pieces of upcycled clothing, so I'm going to outline three major steps that are part of our process. And just keep in mind that everyone's process is going to look a little bit different, but these are the basic steps that you'll take to upcycle your own clothes. What are you doing? <laughs> Step one, find an item you want to upcycle. Upcycled clothing is made from used fabric and materials that can be found around your home or purchased secondhand. So if you're anything like me, you might have a pile of clothes in your closet that you plan on donating. I recommend going through that pile and finding something that can be repurposed into something new. If you're going to try to find something to upcycle from a secondhand shop, I recommend looking for items that are most likely to be thrown out, least likely to be worn. Maybe they have holes, stains, etc. The thrift stores around us have last chance racks, which are filled with items that people didn't want that are on sale. And that makes it super easy to find the more damaged clothing that's likely to be sent to the landfill. Okay, come on. Step two is finding a sewing pattern or drawing up your own sketch of what you'd like to create. If you're new to sewing, I recommend looking up sewing patterns online or purchasing them in stores like Michael's or Joann's. If you don't know what a sewing pattern is, it basically outlines all of the pieces of fabric that you need to cut in order to make a specific style, which makes it super easy for upcycling especially. And then the last step, 
Step three is to start sewing your upcycled design, or you can opt for a no sew design. Sewing is easily the most intimidating part of the upcycling process, but don't let it scare you, I promise. Jared, like I had mentioned before, is a self-taught sewer, and here we are, six years later, owning an entire clothing business. So if we can do it, you can too. And it does require focus and time, but it's honestly worth it having the power to create your own clothes. It's, it's I don't know, a sense of freedom that's hard to explain. Simply what I'm saying is that it's worth it, and you. If you put in the time and effort to learn, you'll be able to do it honestly in no time. The great thing about living in this day and age is that you can turn to places like YouTube to find sewing tutorials for completely free and learn how to sew. However, if you don't really feel like learning how to sew or you don't have the time, completely understand because I'm the same way, there are plenty of no sew design ideas that you can find out there. For example, one of my favorites, her name is Fashion Wizardry on YouTube. I'm going to link her channel in the description because I found a few of her no sew clothing hacks and they are just simply amazing. Super easy but so cute and great for people who either don't know how to sew or really just don't feel like it. Now I know that was a lot of information distilled in one video so if you want more in-depth tips and tricks on how to upcycle your own clothes. I actually wrote a few articles on that very topic, so I'll link them in the description. We're also constantly sharing videos and how-tos on our own upcycled projects for Yvonne and Mitchell, so I'll link our TikTok and Instagram pages below. So they hopefully can serve as some sort of inspiration uh, for your own projects, and that way you can just keep up with what we're creating. And lastly, just remember, however you wish to go about upcycling, whether you're creating your own or buying from brands that specialize in it, you are helping save the planet. So thank you for your service. And also thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I plan on sharing more on this channel, all about upcycling and how to do it and different tips and just behind the scenes. And honestly, so many ideas, but I would love to hear from you in the comments on what you want to learn and what you want to see. I would really enjoy that and really appreciate it. So yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you and thanks again. Bye.